Hi everyone, and welcome back to, well, not the Retro Shack itself, just the Retro Shack channel, as I'm on my holidays in my lovely camper van in a field in the middle of nowhere. I wanted to do this video though because I found a piece of software whilst I was away that is new to me, although it did come out, and I think, in April of this year, 2021, but it's been a bit of a game changer for me with my Spectrum Next because it's allowed me to download games on the fly from the Next with no swapping of SD cards or any of that nonsense. Don't need a PC, don't need my MacBook, just need the Next and a Wi-Fi signal. Now, I'm going to dive into this. Uh, if you've seen this already, I apologise. I didn't see a lot of coverage of this on the net, um, but it deserves it because for me it's been an absolute game changer whilst I've been away. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Well, it all starts here with the ZXDB, an open source database created by Einar Saukas. Apologies if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, and I doubt I am. It's for use by the whole ZX Spectrum community and made accessible here on the spectrumcomputing.co.uk website. The aim of the ZXDB is to, quote, maintain a freely accessible archive of software created for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. And it does a pretty good job of that, but there are some notable exceptions when it comes to software downloads. As all software held in the database aims to be copyright free, and if any copyright owner wishes their software to be removed, removed it is, and sharpish. Unbelievably, some software, despite being 40 years old, is still fiercely protected by some companies, so some of your favourites may inexplicably not be available. Well, on here anyway. There are dark places in the web where these files can be found, but we don't condone that sort of thing at all. The database itself is an amazing trip down memory lane, and when you find the title you're looking for, there is an incredible amount of information available, ranging from the original release date, original price, prizes and awards, and through to user reviews, scans of the original media inlays, instructions, and of course, in most cases, the actual files to download and play on an emulator of your choice, or on an original machine if you're using a DivMMC type device, or one of the digital cassette players such as the SVI CAS or the ZX Frankenstein that I've reviewed previously on the channel. Remy Sharp is a complete lunatic when it comes to the Spectrum Next, and I love the stuff he comes up with, and here we've got his HTTP stack for the Spectrum Next, and also his API, which layers on top of that to provide access to the ZXDB. Following so far? No. Well, that's okay, because all we really need to do is download and install the NextDB downloader software for our lovely Next and pop it onto the SD card. There's a couple of commands that go into the dot directory, and then we need to put the rest somewhere sensible. All of the instructions are on the link in the description, and it takes literally seconds. Then, presuming you've got your Next hooked up to your Wi-Fi, and if you haven't, you can find all the instructions in my video link on the screen if you need it, and then you're good to go. Launching the ZXDB downloader software, you can easily search for the software you want. And then once you've found it, because all of these files are so small by today's standards, you can be playing in a matter of seconds. Each game you download gets saved to a directory of your choice, so you don't have to download it again. And there you have it, a library of software, easily downloadable, with no need for any other hardware or software. Brilliant. Hungry Horace, the first game I ever played on the ZX Spectrum, or maybe it was Horace Go Skiing, I can't remember, it was nearly 40 years ago. Anyway, I've tried to include in the video description all of the references to all of the people who have contributed any element of the software needed to bring this to life. If I've missed anyone out, please accept my apologies and understand that I thank you all the same. So, there we have it. A self-contained entertainment system for your ZX Spectrum, completely independent of any PC, as long as you've got a internet-enabled Spectrum Next. Fantastic. I've had a great fun with this whilst I've been away. It's kept me in touch with my retro roots while still enjoying a bit of peace and quiet in the countryside. Anyway, back to normal soon. Um, hope you enjoy the channel. As always, please leave your comments below. You know we'd love to read them. If you like the channel, please subscribe, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, enough of this little quick snaps video. We'll see you soon back in the shack.